Swing the club, and then initially swing back and forth continuously as if you are swinging a rope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, now in the back swing, you're using your body a lot better. But the only thing is that still in the back swing, still is a bit inward. So you have tendency here. So if you want to adjust the, the, the plane, instead of go flat here and then try to quickly turn this way, more this way. Okay, more into like the reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for that, the pelvis, instead of pelvis going backward, it has to go more, more this way. Okay. And then, so the, the right hip goes more upward. Yeah. Up here. So you really, really put the, a lot of force on the right side, the stand on. Yeah, in order to support your body with the right side, we cannot go backward here. More. Yeah. Okay. So if you go that way, more this way here, the reverse pivot here, it's easy to come this way. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. That's a lot better alignment. Yes. Yeah. Now, now let's go to uh, the so-called uh, two-step swing drills. Okay. But what we'll do is uh, stage three of the two-step swing drills. So there are actually three stages. Okay. Stage one is uh, with the uh, feet together, mm, mm, swing, okay. taking two steps. And then stage, stage two, narrow stance, mm. taking one step here. Stage three, no step, using your regular stance, Ooh. Mm, swing. So this is called uh, the trigger motion. Yeah. Using the trigger, you have active backswing. And then the trigger will set the plane you want to use in the downswing. And then in the backswing, from the trigger motion here, have an active backswing. Yeah. And then using that, have active downswing here. Yeah, so use the trigger. Again. Yes. Yeah, so naturally when you have this motion, when you start, you're using the, the body to start the back. Okay. Now, the trigger motion, keep the clavicle a bit flatter in, in the trigger, yeah. So currently what, what's happening is you're holding the club, and just turning this way here. Instead, instead, go like this way. So either you turn the body more or let yeah, yeah. So this action here, actually in golf swing, this is really important. Yeah. It's called the supination, yeah. pronation of the forearm here. So when you go, you keep a little bit of a pronation and supination of the forearm here, yeah. then you start this. Okay. Because all, all in all, again, if we use the club head centric perspective, we want to move the club head the way we want, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then instead of just going this way, you can guide this way here, and then start this okay. Yes. Yes, now you are adding this motion here. Then that looks, the, the plane looks better. Okay. Yes. Oh, this time it was a simple motion here, but let's do it a little bit. So uh, pay attention to color band. And also the trigger motion should be rhythmic. Yeah. So if your, your legs are pushing the ground or pushing the ground here, and push the ground with the left leg, and then in the back swing you're pushing the ground with the right leg, in the down swing you're pushing the ground with the left. So we have uh, this is step leg action. Step left, step right, and the step left. So when you repeat this again and again, yeah. automatically you will develop this body rhythm and the start of backswing with the more yeah. leg driven backswing. Yeah. So that's all you need to change. Okay. And then with that, if you, you can swing the 
the clavet more this way here, then you can also adjust the, the direction of the string. Okay. So let me record this. So, that, so repeat stage three five times, five, five cycles. Okay, ready, go. Yes. Yes. So with this, whether you pay attention to or not, your body motion or body movement. Yeah. You start developing the body movement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, but, mm, this motion. Yeah. So it looks uh, so natural. Yeah. Now let me record from here. Okay. Now three cycles. Okay. Three times. Yeah, three cycles. Ready, go. Yes. So now the flow is quite natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is actually a natural motion, so we go. Yes. And then in the back swing, it's not quick jab, but rather you have a continuous. Yeah. yeah. You are letting the clip go around. And then, now, just, just uh, work on one more thing. So at the end of the back swing, your goal in the back swing is not hurry down, but rather you have, you have mature back swing all the way here. Okay. That's the goal in the back swing. Okay. So in the back swing, don't think anything, don't think about anything else. Okay. Just you want to go mm, enough here. Yeah. That means you have to create good winder. So good winder and give enough time and then <coughs> So in order to control this, let's say this. VJ sing. Okay. So we, we have accents, three accents. Ooh, and then throw here. Ooh, and then VJ also has accent. VJ and the exaggeration and then sing. Yes. 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 Yeah. So that way you eliminate the rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have enough time, your body is all ready. You have good transition sequence. Yeah. From there, just a let go. Yeah. Three cycles. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is quite natural. Yeah. So always internally say, VJ sing. Yeah. Go. Yes. Yeah. So the back swing is big enough. Yeah. And then during the back swing at the end, the VJ, during the VJ, yeah. your goal is to just uh, go as deep as possible here. Yeah. Mm. VJ all the way. Yeah. And then sing instead of. Mm. Yeah. So from here, three cycles. Okay. Three cycles go. And then 
in doing that, you keep the gaze on the ball, but it's not the direct gaze. Yeah. So when you go to reverse field posture here, lift the chin a little bit. That way you can use the peripheral vision over your shoulder and you can keep the gaze and then let it go. Okay. Okay. Now let me record this. So internally say Vijay <coughs> Singh. And then by having active backswing, you will automatically have active downswing. Okay, three cycles, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Oh. Good. So you have a bit more time at the top. So this is the previous one. Yeah. So if you go here, then come down. You don't quite see an uh, active back swing. They're having a bit more time there. Now the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So the trigger motion will give you active back swing. With that, you yeah. can have a body trigger back swing. Yeah. And then that the uh, VJ sing yeah. that gives good rhythm. So you have a more time at the top. Yeah. So practice this a lot, yeah. and then your body will just uh, get used to uh, yeah. this rhythm. Then, from regular swing, we can also use the yeah. body dribble back swing. Yeah. So, with the body dribble back swing, we use the right leg actively, then, ooh, all the way. Yeah, you see? Now your back swing motion is a continuous motion. Is yeah. that earlier? Yeah. Yeah. And then going into the reverse pivot, you give a BJ enough time, and then let it go. And then when, when you get used to uh, this rhythm, yeah. then you can increase the level of effort. Then yeah. you will be able to swing like a crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it, it definitely feels like, or has felt like there's been some sort of like power, like power, like more effort I put in because the timing is like, mm. I lose it. Like I lose the power because yeah. I try to put power in. But also, the nice thing about this is that the, the most of the action is coming from the leg action. Yeah. So it will give you good rhythm. Yeah. It's, it's repeatable. So from shot to shot, it will be a lot more consistent. Yeah. Under pressure, you cannot go uh, you know, yeah. rush because leg driven here. So mm -hmm. while your, your leg is pushing the ground, you cannot come down here. Yeah. So that gives good time. Yeah. So everything becomes more consistent. Yeah. Okay? So, so this is uh, how you work on your rhythm. And then along with that, you adjust the, the, the direction of the back yeah. and then also pay attention to uh, which direction you throw the curve. Yeah. Yeah.